Hey guys, and how about we watch Death Battle, Starscream vs. Rainbow Dash. So like I did with my last video, I want to start by giving a bit of the connection that I have with this video in particular. Because I don't have a connection with everyone, but I do with this one. I am a brony. I have my dog tags right here. Um, you know, like my Rainbow Dash plushies, and my Twilight plush, and I love them all so much. Um, this is the folder that I use at school, so that's fun. And, you know, I have several shirts. Not wearing any right now, but know that I have them. So yeah, um, in this one, I don't know Transformers much at all. I never had the channel for the cartoon growing up, so now and then I'd see an episode at my friend's house, but rarely. I saw the first movie, and that's about all the background that I have. I enjoyed the toys, they were cool to fold up and all that. But yes, let's get to watching. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Gamefly. Maybe we should just have her like, on my shoulder while we watch her. Only she could stay. Oh, and my at least television has been scratch. used to market toys to boys and girls for generations, ranging from G.I. Joe to Barbie and Transformers to My Little Pony. Are we really doing this? Yes. Yes, we are. All right, well, Starscream from the first generation Decepticons and Rainbow Dash of the G4 Pegasus. Rainbow pony. Dash is my favorite pony from the show, too. And it's our job to analyze so their weapons, armor, and skills. I have even more desire for her to win, win in this a one. Death battle. Rainbow Dash and Applejack, two top favorites. Starscream is the air commander of the Decepticon Battle Fleet. He constantly seeks power and often attempts to usurp Megatron's leadership of the Decepticons with little success. Oh. He has two forms, giant robot and so kind of sucks. His robot form is primarily meant for ground travel, though it can fly short distances. This form's weaponry consists of cluster bombs, missiles, machine guns, and his trademark see, that's the kind of a laser that shuts down episodes, anything though. that uses electricity. He can transform into an F-15 Eagle, a twin-engine all-weather fighter jet with top speeds reaching Mach 2.8, nearly three times the speed of sound. Wow. In jet form, he can fire three different types of homing missiles, from short-range sidewinders to long-range slammers. And if those don't do the trick, he's equipped with an M61A1 <laughs> Vulcan Gatling gun that fires 20 millimeter ammo at 6,000 rounds per minute. Fun fact, it also works great for hunting. Starscream is a coward and uses cheap tactics, often shooting his opponents in the back. However, oh. his deadliest weapon is arguably his silver tongue. While he is not the strongest Decepticon, he is a clever and deceiving speaker who can worm his way into favorable positions. Despite this, he is a terrible strategist. Most of his plans instantly go wrong. That like sucks. when he took over the Decepticons because Megatron had a sore throat. Yeah, It was short yeah, he doesn't and sound like the smartest Transformer. Off, and he was eventually crowned leader of the Decepticon faction. Again, short-lived. Starscream was king for a whopping 20 seconds, a personal record. However, after his death, Starscream discovered that his spark, or life force, was somehow indestructible. And a good thing too, because since then he's been dying nearly every episode. His ghostly spark can possess machinery. He has taken over several other Transformers, robots, and even a cybernetic schoolgirl while she was using the bathroom. Oh. What? Unfortunately, his poor knowledge of human society led him to forget to pull up the girl's underwear, making him the laughingstock of the school. Props to you, Japan. I didn't see that one coming. Wow. You're an idiot, Starscream. <laughs> Here's Rainbow what I know about. Dash is Here's a Pegasus pony from Equestria, the magical land of ponies. Ugh. After dropping out of flight school, Rainbow found a job in Ponyville as weather manager. She is a strong, agile flyer with great durability and resilience. She can smash through trees and solid rock and get right back up. She is also training to join the Wonderbolts, a superb team of flyers who are kind of That's like the Blue right. Angels. Except they're ponies. She is also a black belt in karate. How does a pony learn karate, let alone master it? Apple Bloom sadly did not. As a Pegasus pony, Rainbow can control weather. She can use the clouds in the sky to manipulate lightning strikes or precipitation. Also, she can create and control giant tornadoes. She's also got Rainbow. some other moves, like the Buccaneer Blaze, which apparently is so amazing it can't be shown on screen. And somehow it creates a huge explosion. Rainbow often brags that she's the fastest in the world. And you know what? She's right. That's right. By calculations according to this guy, Rainbow Dash can fly five times the speed of sound with ease. This is apparent through the mock cone that often forms around Rainbow, which indicates she has broken the sound barrier, and oh. the angle of which proves she can reach up to Mach 5 speed. That's awesome. This is a pony, a baby horse girl toy. 
Why is it so awesome? And upon breaching Mach 5, she enters hypersonic speeds to create the, the sonic, sonic rain, rain boom. boom. With this, her speed doubles instantaneously to Mach 10. And somehow, the resulting sonic boom completely shatters the visible light spectrum. Not to mention the sonic boom itself is apparently strong enough to split solid rock and shake entire mountains. Rainbow is brash, athletic, and extremely competitive. But while she's steadfast and loyal, she sometimes cheats to get her way. Well, let's make it fight Loyalty a giant doesn't robot. mean you don't cheat. All right, all the right, combatants are we set. Go. Let's end this debate once and for Unless all. But first, apparently all of you haven't signed up yep. for your free okay. trial. Okay, while they're going on to their commercial, let's talk about this really quick. Again, Big fan of Rainbow Dash, totally love Rainbow Dash, don't know much about Starscream, but from what they said, he sounds like an idiot. Um, though he does have a Gatling gun, she might be able to, I mean, if she, she can, she's like the fastest flyer, she might be able to outrun it. Um, though him being a robot, I'm not sure what moves that she would necessarily have against him, unless she did a Sonic Rainbow and he like shattered. Okay, commercial's over, let's get back, I hope she wins. Who dares challenge the mighty star scream? There she is. Ah, uh, yeah. Hi there. Fight. <laughs> A pony? I'll crush you in an instant. Prepare to be annihilated. You talk a lot. Yeah, that sounded more like Going to kill you, Tag. Yeah! <laughs> oh, sorry, she does it. She does it. Oh, great. Never mind, she does those too. Where I think we're good. All right, don't move. Lost it. Hey, what are you doing? You've got You're this right now. Are you? So you can help It's looking like she's winning, so that's good. Oh. <laughs> All right, it is off. Oh yeah, it looks like she kicked his butt so far. But he still hasn't used his silver tongue or whatever. Wait, wait, I'm sorry! Please don't hurt me! I'll, I'll join the herd! I'll be a good Decepticon from now on! Please, just let join me go! Brony time. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know I should love and tolerate, but... Wait. What's that? Die! Ooh, run, run, run! Fly, or fly, rather. Don't run, that would be bad. There. That was awesome! You haven't won! I'm invincible! My spark lives! You can never defeat Star! <laughs> <laughs> Forget all oh. doubt! That pony is wow. a monster! Rainbow's speed and agility were more than a match for the clumsy star screen. And it doesn't help that his aim is even worse than a stormtrooper's. Not to mention the Null Ray is designed to destroy electronics, not living ponies. That makes she sense. Just ate that makes a sense. transformer. Yes, and while Rainbow might experience some mild indigestion, Starscream's not going anywhere anytime soon. Well, she put the pony in pony. The winner is Rainbow. Day. Yeah, Rainbow! Woo! Next time on yeah, Death I'm just, Battle. I'm not sure what she did to tear him apart like that. But, oh well. Hey look, it's Master Chief. Hey Master Chief, how you doing? Hey, 
You got an idea for a cool. death battle? Leave All right, we'll fade below. this out. So that was that was fun. I enjoyed that. That um, <laughs> Rainbow certainly kicked butt, and I for one am glad for that. Especially after they built up um, Star Screen during the analyses. Uh, he just didn't sound great at all. Like, it, he sucked. It sounded like he sucked. You know, I'm sure he's a fun character to watch and all that. I'm not saying he's a bad character. But, like, in combat, he didn't sound good. He didn't sound smart. He didn't sound like he knew what he was doing. You know, there could be people who are weak, but then they have good plans. Like, even Batman, he's not weak, but he doesn't have powers, right? But he's a good strategist, so that's how he kicks butt in, like, the DC world. But, um, Starscream just sounded, like, crappy on both fronts, so... Fun character to watch, I'm sure. Not so much in a battle. Um, Rainbow, though, I was wondering because she's a pony, and he's a, you know, he's a robot. They're robots, right? That's, yeah, robots in disguise, yeah. Pretty sure that's how the song goes. So I was wondering, but apparently she did something off camera that was ma probably the Buccaneer, Buccaneer Blaze, huh? Because they made no, they, it was so awesome, couldn't be shown. Right. All right, so that was fun. Um, glad I watched that. Um, if you want to see more Death Battle or have other suggestions for Let's Watches, um, let me know. I won't do anything that's inappropriate. Just keep that in mind. I want my channel to stay. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that and if you did of course feel free to like comment and if you're new even subscribe I Told you I point at my mic every time I say that um, It means a lot. It really does help me out and I'd love to have you guys So tune in next time for my next video and until then take care <laughs>